Welcome, this is a 4.4 feature video. In this video, we'll be looking at Video Mapper on Layer. With the software started, if we now go to a custom pin board and drag out our Video Mapper component. Now quickly just make two video maps here. The first one, if we just add some tiles. There we go, we can see we're just going to use 16 tiles, simple 4x4 square. Now if I just drag the output tiles down to the bottom right hand corner here so we can see the video map do something and I'll just create video map 2 here. Again just another 4x4 16 tile square. I'll just move the input down to this corner and move the output over to this right hand corner here. Now with our two video maps made if we now just head back to the mixes page and here you'll see over in the geometry section a new tab for video mapper we just enable that quickly and set both of our video maps up. Video map 1 will be at video map A and video map 2 will come in as video map B. And then we'll just select a piece of content to play back. And just raise the level here. And as you can see, because the video map on layer is already enabled, the first video map we created is already working. And if we unenable it, we can see the full piece of content. So with it enabled, you have both the mix and more features that you'd normally find on the video mapper in the viewports and as we just transition between the two video maps that I quickly created here you can see them at work also with video mapper on layer you have full control same as you do on viewports you've got a grid there you also have the ability to do DMX color blocks you can either use the ArtNet or SACM protocol and you can set all of the network and universe properties there as well. The great thing about Video Mapper on Layer is it allows a mixture of mapped and unmapped content to be used within the same mix.